coming live. Good morning, St. Mary's. It's Cor. And I'm Kames. And we are back. Us troublemakers are back after a long week. But anyway, so guys, hopefully you guys didn't miss us too much. But we do want to get a quick announcement to you guys about next week. Exactly a week from today on Friday, there will be a modified schedule. Here is the modified <laughs> schedule right here. And please note the addition of a C block in order to view the live stream of the senior presentations. But enough about next week. Let's take a look at the news for today, starting, of course, with the Shea Cafe menu. First off, we got the Global Bowl, which is a Neiman Ranch grass-fed beef or chicken bolognese pasta, and of course, the vegetarian-inspired ginger marinated crust organic tofu. That's right. We also got the Farmer's Market without organic Caesar salad with either chicken or tofu, and a sandwich special, which is a grilled barbecue burger with cheese or barbecue chicken sliders or a turkey BLT. Lots of options there. And, and core. What do all of these entrees come with? Ah, you guys thought I would forget after my <laughs> long week gone that these lunch offers do come with a drink and a lunchbox cookie. Please That's keep right. this in mind when making your lunch purchase. And in student life, congratulations to all of the amazing dancers for compelling concert pieces of me last night. Not only were each of the performances awesome to watch, but you made us think about the Say Something project and the messages behind every single piece. That's right. And seniors, next week is it. It's our final special week. Here are Kira and Cam with some more information about our Senior Spirit Week. Whoa, I didn't see you there. Did you know that next week is Senior Spirit Week? And we're going to start it off on Tuesday with dress up as your middle school self day. And this can be your middle school uniforms or anything you think you might have worn in 7th or 8th grade. Yes, so dig out those pink sparkly justice jackets from the back of your closet, and we'll see you next week. See you there. Bye. And if you guys still have not received your 2020-21 St. Mary's yearbook, you can pick one up during A Block next Tuesday, June 1st, outside of St. Joseph's Hall. That's right, and attention all students, all library materials are due back today. Materials for research projects will, will remain on cards so that you can access them in the library. If you need to access any of these after school hours, you can use the copier to copy materials to take home, but all of the physical copies will need to remain in the library at this point. And in club news, for I was hungry and you gave me food, I was thirsty and you gave me a drink, a stranger and you welcomed me, naked and you clothed me, ill and you cared for me, in prison and you visited me. Matthew 25, 35 through 36. Thank you to everyone who participated in the charity book and record sale yesterday. Our community raised and donated $400 in honor of St. Mary's College High School students to the Alameda County Library Foundation Start With a Story program. Good work, guys. And now, head over to Riley in Studio B for your Panther Athletics. Good morning, guys. Congratulations to EJ McGrew, Marlon Jones, and Tule Moody, this week's Athletes of the Week. EJ has dominated opposing batters all year. His six innings of shutout ball on Saturday propelled the Panthers baseball squad to a 2-0 win over Bury and Christian. EJ is 5-1 on the season with 55 strikeouts recorded. Tele put on one of the grittiest and toughest exhibitions of athleticism this year to help the women's soccer team achieve a 4-4 tie against El Cerrito, helping the team remain undefeated on the season. And lastly, Marlon Jones fired a 36 in nine holes to lead the Panthers to victory in their final match of the year on the Lynx. Congratulations to all three of our Athletes of the Week. And remember, you can pick up your Athlete of the Week shirt from Mr. Filson's office. This includes past Athletes of the Week who did not receive a shirt. In action yesterday, the men's soccer team was down quickly 1-0 before scoring three unanswered goals on the way to a 3-1 win over De Anza here at Brady Park. Here are the three goals as called by our own Sebastian Dalvon on the live stream. Sends it in looking for a header. It's glanced off, and Hurley scores! What a nice header there! St. Mary's equalized on the stroke of 20 minutes. It is 1-1. What an excellent header there. Sends an aimless shot spiraling. Oh, parried by the dance keeper. It falls, and Hurley scores! Hurley scores his second of the game and gives St. Mary's a 2-1 lead. I mean... As, like the closer you are, the like the easier it is to shoot. Oh, Will! Will scored! Oh, Will. Will scored! Wow. Will scored while we are talking about this. Sorry to cut you off there, David. Will has done an excellent, has, has scored really a tap in off of the madness from that result, resulting free kick. Thank you, Sebastian, for that excellent call. Later this afternoon, the varsity baseball team plays at Albany, while the Frost Squad will host Albany here at St. Mary's. Tomorrow, the Panthers participate in the TCAL track finals at El Cerrito.
good luck to all of our Panthers competing today and tomorrow. Let's take it back to Corin Kames for today's birthdays. Thank you, Riley, and good luck to all athletics. And birthdays today, we'd like to wish a very happy birthday to Isabella Getman Mitchell, Jalen Jones, and a big one to Miss Konecki. And this weekend to Shivaj Brar, Cole Leschik, Isabella Perez, Dana Rodriguez, and Kareem Weaver. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to you. And before we sign off today, guys, it's important to make note of the purpose of this weekend. We remember the men and women of the United States Armed Forces who sacrificed their lives in service of this country and the American people. They have made the ultimate sacrifice for all of us. This year, we also remember over half of a million Americans who have died from the COVID during pandemic. We take a moment to pause and think of all who have passed away as St. Mary's very own Mr. Filton plays taps. So let us remember.